Welcome everybody, this is Boy Dry Matoro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. But before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to these supporters that's on my screen. A big shout out to Samai aka WLOG, Crazy Boss V31, Foxy, Weez G and Z Gaming, Moldy Superman YT, and even Jordan. Now these people are our channel members on our YouTube platform, and I would like to give a big shout out and thank you for their support. So with that all said, let's get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, this video is all about on how to install add-on pairs inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So like always, make sure you download and install all of the latest requirements. Once you have completed that, then download this mod, and I will leave this mod inside my description below. So make sure you download this mod. Don't forget to download Pet Selector, and I will leave this inside my description below as well. So make sure you download Pet Selector. Now we are going to test this mod with a pad and the pad that we are going to use is one of the top pads and this is the pad that we are going to test it on and I will leave this pad inside my description below that's if you guys want to use it. So with that said let's get straight into it. Now we are on our desktop okay of course so all you guys got to do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game hover over it right click and open file location. Now, as you can see, I have already installed my requirements, so make sure you do install them first before you do go ahead. Open up your mods folder, go to your update folder, go to time 64, go to your DRC packs folder. Then now, as you can see, my DRC packs folder is completely empty. So, all you got to do, okay, is open up your add-on pads extract folder. Go inside your add-on pads extract folder, and now go... To your DRC packs folder and then now all you got to do next okay is drag the DRC packs folder inside the extract folder and drag it inside your DRC packs folder that's inside your game there you go now go back one and now go inside your squids folder inside your extract folder go back to your main GTA V folder on your game folder then now go inside your skits folder. Then now all you gotta do is go and select your pseudselector.dll and drag it inside your skits folder. Now lastly, go back to your main folder. Then go to your game folder and then go go back to your main folder. And now all you gotta do is select your add-on pads fast and add-on pads editor .exe and now drag them both. Okay, drag them both inside your GTA V main folder. Then that's all you gotta do, okay? Now next, okay, all you gotta do is open up your readme.txt. Now all you gotta do is just keep scrolling down until you see the DRC packs code over here. Copy that, okay? Copy this code. Copy that. Now minimize that, okay? And now exit out of your extract folder. Now go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Just minimize it. Because you'll be going back there again soon. Now next thing you got to do is open up your Open IV. Go to Grand Theft Auto V Windows. This process will take a few seconds. Once your application is open, all you got to do is go to your edit mode. Select yes. Go to your mods folder. Go to update, go to update.rpf, go to common, go to data, scroll right down to the bottom until you see drclist.xml. Hover over it, right click and select edit. Scroll right down to the bottom, then I click on to the side, press enter and paste your code there. Save your code, go back to your drclist.xml and double check to see if it's saved. Yes it is. Exit out of there, go back to your GTA V main folder, minimize that, and now we have finished installing add-on pads. 
Now we're going to install the PID. Open up your PID okay, extract folder, any PID that you choose. Then inside that folder, open up this folder. Now the PID that we are going to use is the Korean. Now, in every add-on PID, okay, they always have .ydd, .yft, .ymt, and .ytd. Those are the four files that we need. Now, all you gotta do, okay, is open up your OpenIV again, and now go to your mods folder, go to updates, go to time64, go to your DRC packs folder, go to add-on peds, go to your DRC.rpf, go to peds.rpf. Do you know all you guys gotta do? If you want, okay, you can delete all this if you want, but I'm just going to delete them all because I don't need them. Select, yes, and then all you gotta do is just select all these four files, except for the JPG, and then I'll paste it in there. And now go back to your GTA V, edit mode, exit out of your application, grab one file, put it on your desktop, exit out of your extract folder, right click, rename that file, and copy the name. Then now all you guys gotta do next, okay, is open up your GTA V main folder, which is your directory folder, and now go to your add-on peds editor.exe, right click, and now run as administrator. Now all you guys gotta do next is that all this will pop up, okay? Um all this is from my it's from my old folder. So just give me a minute guys, I'll be right back, okay, because I'm going to delete all this. And we are back again. So I left one over here so so I can show you guys how to delete it. So if you want to delete your PID, all you gotta do is just go to your PID drop down menu and now select delete and now select yes and then that's all you gotta do. Now to add the PID, all you gotta do is go to your PID drop down menu and select new PID and now place the model name. Now PID type is obviously a female and is streamed is false. Then now select add PID. Now lastly, go over here to rebuild and select rebuild. Select OK and then that's all you gotta do. Exit out of your add-on PIDs editor, and then go to your scripts folder, and now you need to install native UI. Select your native UI.dll and .xml and drag them both inside your scripts folder, and then that's all you gotta, guys gotta do. Right click, refresh, and then now, let's go in the game, and I'll see you guys in the game. And now we are back in the game, so we are in the game now, and my game did not crash. So to open up your menu, okay, your add-on PS menu, all you gotta do is press your L key. Then there you go. So as you guys can see, my PS selector mod menu is now open. So all you guys gotta do is just only click on add-on PS and then now click on that and then bingo in five, four, three, two, one. Then now there she goes. Now add-on PS work, okay? See? Pretty pretty cool day. Eh? So that's how you guys do install add-on peers. But the only problem with add-on peers is that it is outdated, okay? And it does need like a update, but it's okay. It still works eventually. So yeah, that's how you guys install add-on peers. So I hope you guys do enjoy your mod. And we're back again, so I hope you guys do enjoy that mod. That mod is an awesome mod and it's still the best mod. But it is outdated, so it's alright. But um, like always, guys, if you do get stuck installing this mod, then let me know in the comments, and I'll be more than welcome to help you on that. Or if you do get stuck installing any other mods, then please let me know in the comments, and I'll be more than welcome to help out on that as well. If I don't reply back on time, then I do have a Discord server. My Discord server is inside my description below, so go and check that out. I'll be uploading more GTA V PC modding tutorials and even Discord tutorials, so stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget, if you guys did like this video, smash the like button and subscribe for more gaming content and tutorials. And I'll see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace, and I'm out.
Thank you.